Hello everyone, this is the Gift of Ra, and this is part 17 of my Rome Total War campaign. You know, that's episode 17, I think it's actually starting to get kind of into the series here. It's actually like, starting to progress now, but from a campaign view, not really. The land that I have right now is not nearly what I aim to get by the time I finish this. I will have to conquer Rome in the end. What are my victory condition? Or become supreme ruler of Rome and control at least 50 provinces. And I have 200 years remaining for that. So 200 turns left, I guess. So they give you like a tiny bin to AD to finish it. Okay, I remember now. This is where we were at. We were... I think everything was going well. Let's check out Memphis. I'm just training a bunch of peasants really to... Go kill him off somewhere. Of moves, great lord. Sire, orders, orders. March. Just go off and get him killed. I really don't care. I want him to get killed. But what? Oh, jeez. Should stop Skype from popping up. You know, it's it's convenient. When I'm not doing anything, but when I'm filming videos like this, it gets pretty annoying. Plus, I feel weird having all my contacts drift past the screen like that. Um. Well, let's see here. Mighty General, orders. I say we could work on maybe striking at the Greeks a bit, but. My liege, my liege, sire, sire, my liege, sire. I feel at the same time attacking the Seleucids is important. Forward, out of so, moves, great lord. Move out. Why not go ahead? Egyptian Watchtower brigands. What? Move out. Where did brigands control it? Hold on. What? Hold on. They can... I didn't think they could take control of towers. Hold on. Let's send some peasants out to check it out. Whoa. Okay. Whatever. That's, that's a couple citizens I don't have to worry about anymore. Might be a waste of citizens considering it's Tarsus, but... You know, let's... Actually, let's, let's bring some guys over here. I heard this works. If you disband units inside a town like this, then it adds to the population. I heard that. So it's at, it's at what? It's at 1132. And then if we do that, it goes to 1132 to, oh, it does work. Nice. Let's start doing that. That's cool. I've never seen that done before. Yeah, let's start doing that. We can grow Tarsus pretty quickly. <clears throat> so I'll check out all my towns here and end the turn. And start what is going to be the crowning jewel of this video. Siege of Damascus, and presumably the fall, the beginning of the end of the Seleucid Empire. Let's get started. Oh, I forgot about a diplomat. I could have siege. moved him up more. Whoa. Hold it. Okay, I don't. I'm not even following Numidia anymore, so I'm okay with that. Roll for your life. 
Nice, let's see. Parthia's getting into the action here. Hmm. Hey there, Parthia. It's like, uh... It's like they're starting to make some bold moves here. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'm gonna say it's a bad thing. Because to be honest, I don't feel like fighting the Parthians right now. Maybe I could settle for a peace agreement of some sort. Oh, these guys are just mercenaries. They're gonna get destroyed. Um... Let's get these guys killed. What? No way. Those are peasants. How? Are those just peasants too or something? I don't know. Jeez. I don't I don't even know. Well, this town is small, isn't it? Sire. Yeah, it's a pretty small town. Let's send him over there. That'll help out. Let's not forget my diplomat. Way up here. Great one. But maybe I should get him down here to negotiate with Parthia. Yes, my liege. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Armenia. Let's. Out of moves, sir. Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a, a situation. Orders. Huh. Oh, I can't let. I can't let Damascus get away like this. But at the same time, hold on. Hold on. Does the Parthian army have any? They have no siege equipment Orders. yet. Engage the enemy. So that means for now. I can go ahead and take Damascus. All right, this is pretty much this is pretty much the be all and end all of the Seleucid Empire. I guess you could you could have said the same thing about the siege of Antioch, but I think this battle is a bit more important. This is like, yeah, I, actually, I don't know. It's debatable. Wait my orders. All right, let's organize my troops. General, General. That, that's not all the cavalry I have, is it? General, General, General. Oh, oops. I meant, I mean control C. That's messed up for a bit. Yeah, I'll actually do these guys. And I'll do the Eastern mercenaries and all these slingers and... First of all, send these guys back here. Have all these guys up here. And I don't actually need five rams. I'm just gonna take three and uh Ram! March! 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 Yeah, back there. And then I'll send this guy back here too. Ram! Ram! Uh I don't know. Let's send Ram! Yeah, we can send this guy. Alright, let's put them up there. Close to the borders we can get. Okay, let's check this out. This is going to be a very, very cramped up siege. There are going to be a lot of tight hallways and whatever. Alright, let's check out their army first of all. I don't like pausing, but... I feel like this is justified. I'm not pausing to think of anything. So let's... We got Militia Hoplites. Two defending the gate. Um, two Bedouin Archers. Actually, Militia Cabin Bedouin Archers. More Militia Hoplites. This one's weak. Heltists. Okay, okay. Maybe sending... Maybe I could get tricky and send another ramway over there. 
for more gaps, but I don't know. I think three is enough. I should need too much more. Alright, alright, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Your soldiers have brought the ram to the gates. 8% damage, 10% damage, and 8% damage. Slowly but surely breaking down the wall. Almost wish I had onagers because those would be absolutely devastating. Right, like right about now, just an onager blast. Fire missile right in there. can't even begin in words to explain how awesome that would be, but I don't have any siege. I don't think I have any... Alright, alright. Oh, what? Oh, these guys are... Put them back in tight formation and then run them way, way out there. Alright. Let's run these guys away too. Yeah, just let it go. These guys are getting fired at from a long way away. By who? He's shooting at them. And... Oh, they got some horses, I guess. Who's shooting at? Who's shooting at them? Hold on. Oh, stop holding the ram. We don't need that. Fine, if we're, if we're gonna take the ram, we'll just throw it over there. Back and shove it in a corner where we won't be using it. Okay. Drop the ram. Put him there. So I do wish I had some archers right about now. Because as I, I think I've shown you in earlier videos, the slingers do not work well against these guys. So I am kind of worried. I don't know how well the slingers are going to perform. I guess the only thing to do is to try. Let's at least... uh see if we can maybe get those Bedouin archers or something. I don't know. Let's throw up. Let's put them up here. <clears throat> we'll have them drop their rams and put each of them up here. I feel like I should have some upgrades of some sort, but I don't know. I guess. Well. Oh, mercenary peltists. Looks like they're coming up to play. Can you shoot at any of these guys? Like, uh. Here, how about, uh... Hmm. Oh, they got a couple generals' bodyguards here. Let's shoot at them. Come on. Oh, don't go inside the city. That's not good. If they're gonna go inside the city, I'll just stop them here. Yeah, stop them. Eager. Whatever. Anyway, we'll just put them there for now. Yeah, looks like those Bedouin archers are getting some shots off. My guys. I think... I think those archers are something that needs to be taken care of. So let's here. Let's, let's sling these guys. Nice. Whoa! Who shot at them? That wasn't my slingers, was it? 
Oh, nice. That is a lot of kills. Come on, get another volley in if you can. While well, they're all packed in like that. Ah, uh, don't go in the city. Just, just leave it alone at this point. It's a nice bit of kills there. I think my Bedouin archers need to be brought up though to take care of those guys. They're being a nuisance. I think these Bedouin archers, they don't have as many numbers. My guys don't have as many numbers, but at the same time they do have more experience, so I think they'll do a better job at handling these guys. We don't need them to run, it's okay. And let's stop up here. I guess the good thing is that my infantry is much better than their infantry in many ways. kind of send these guys up to skirmish and nice so let's see how many kills we get with our archers come on get some kills I don't even know where they're at or if they're firing oh they're still okay now they're firing they're going from 48 to what Forty-eight. Oh, there's still a forty-eight. They're not really. What? They got ten kills. Well, this isn't very fair. They're pretty much slaughtering us. Why are they getting no kills? Why are they shooting so poorly? Why are they... they're not even hitting them. Why? They haven't even hit any. This is... oh my god. I thought these guys... these guys have two experienced chevrons. Why are they doing so terribly? They're not even hitting any of them. Who knows. Um... alright, let's see. Might as well set up some infantry. I don't know. My infantry assaults always fail the first time, so I don't feel right doing this, but... It must be done. Well, they're gonna break my morale, so... Maybe... Bring my general up first thing. There we go, we're hitting some of them. Some of these guys. So at least shoot these hoplites. You hit any of them? They're down to... They're from 132. Hitting? Any? I don't only see if they're hitting any of them. I don't know. So from 132... And this volley brings them down to 130. So they only really hit two of them. Yeah, they're not hitting a ton. So we'll just kind of leave these guys be for now. Bring these guys up. Bring these guys up as well. Just because. Oh, hey, 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 wait. Let's, yeah. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Alright, let's, let's, let's definitely take some shots at these Bedouin archers.
Come on, hit him. Oh, you got this. Nice. They're down to 43 now. Forty-three, and now they're at thirty-seven. See, they have the range advantage, but my guys put out both more missiles, and they put them out faster. So I think they get more kills. They get more kills, and they get them faster. So here, general. First thing, let's bring my general up. He's kind of a bulky unit, but we'll need him for this initial push. He'll be very valuable. Let's bring these guys up to our... These, these guys? Nah. They're pretty healthy, and then so are they. So let's bring them up. Bring him up there. We'll bring him up there. So now their missiles aren't really nearly as effective. These guys are eager. Gotta be kidding me. Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't know where my gener why my general is out there. Just bring him out for now. We can't have these guys in here. Stop him for now. We don't. We can't attack with my general all glitchy like this. This is the disadvantage of a chariot unit. Right here. They're so glitchy in their movements. They pretty much prevent anything from moving. First get these guys out, and then we'll get these guys out next. And then we'll have these guys at the ready, kind of. Like that. Okay. Let's, let's uh, run these guys first. We'll run them too. See, we'll, we'll kind of force them to bring out all their guys. Like, uh... Like over here. These guys are eager and fresh. These guys in general. Let's uh make sure they're all off defensive mode. They're shaking. Hold it. 
Send my general up. Steady. Got these guys. We're being attacked. Make sure they're all off defensive boat here. Let's fix all these guys up here. Everyone's eager, so... Oh man, I, I want to get in there with my slinger so badly. This unit's ready to go in the phalanx. This one isn't really. Still pretty unorganized. That stuff. There. There. Fig I figured it'd be glitchy. Whatever. These guys are probably going to break. And these guys are pretty much walking into a death trap. Probably gonna break soon. That's my guess. This phalanx at their back is gonna be devastating to them. These guys are winded and these guys are warmed up, so I think we can catch them. They're just camels too, so... Oh.
It's kind of... Let's put these guys over here. Shooting these guys. Oh, also oh, tower. Let's, let's first bring him back here. Well, that wasn't good. I lost a lot of guys that way. We have quite an advantage over them already now, so... These guys are exhausted. Oh, what? Bring down your pikes already. None of these guys are probably going to route in a couple seconds. Yeah, figures. I don't care that much. What's up with these guys? Jeez. Disgusting. Oh. 
Oh, there was like a guy not even in the town yet. That wasn't good. Here, we need to hurry. Hurry up. Shooting anything? Fire! Yeah, they're not really. Let's uh. Fire! Can we shoot through this crevice? Fire! Be cool if we could. Fire! I know they're. These guys are probably gonna route. Gonna intercept these peltists. Guys, here. There we go. Yeah, they're not even gonna last a second. Yeah, let's turn on fire at will. I don't see the harm in it. Well, we've really just kind of corralled all these guys in this corner. Huh? They're not even really shooting at anything, but whatever. These guys are gonna route from the missiles, I already know that. Then, uh, these guys over here. Yeah, they're not even really using missiles. Are they? Yeah, only like two at a time, so not even worth it, really. I say we... Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. There isn't really another lane to shoot from. Wish there was. Actually, let's same at these guys. They're gonna come around the corner soon, so we can shoot at them. Just get ready to at least. Where's everyone? They all run away. Probably. Hitting anything? Yeah, we are okay. There we go. I know these guys are next. Just kind of repeatedly cycling through. Whatever happened to these guys? They're still shooting, looks like. Here. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's see if they're... They're moving their cav. They have a nice cav force, so I gotta kind of pay attention to what they're doing with it. They're wavering. I'll at least turn on fire wheel.
not even really shooting. Oh, shoot at them. What are you... Why are you shooting? They're not even in range. Just shoot these guys. There we go. That's what I want. Well, they're not really doing anything. Let's see. They're not even really moving. Shoot these guys as they're running back. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Let's be careful about these guys. See these guys take the fight back to where it's in my favor. Are these guys shooting at oh shoot at them. They're gonna route before they even get to my slingers. Might even kill them all the way before they get here. Seventeen. Don't worry, as, as there are less of them, it's my slingers aiming at fewer targets. So I think I think they'll kill more, since it's going to be more stones on a single guy. There we go. I keep shooting at him. Oh jeez, get away. Oh, they're broken. Awesome. Got four of them or so. That's not a lot, but still, that's really good. Maybe we can even chase down routing units with these guys. Let's do that. Let's put them here. Or... They don't really fit in here. They kind of do, but not really. Let's just put them right. Oh. Are they getting hurt? I know they're gonna route. 26. I don't even hit any of them. I guess maybe more missing them or something, I don't know. So how's the fight over here going? I imagine they're probably gonna route in a couple seconds. <laughs> Four kills on them in a single volley, that's quite a bit. Well, we're pretty much just destroying them with missiles now. How many? We've killed 78% of them. I say. I say the siege is now in our favor. If it wasn't in our. If it wasn't in our favor in the first place. And it was. Yeah, I figured that would be the kill shot. Or not. Oh, didn't even hit them. Same with these guys and hope we can maybe hit that other peltist.
shoot at these guys. Maybe we'll hit this guy's collateral damage. There we go. Okay. These guys are gonna route pretty immediately. Who are they shooting at? I don't see anyone. I think they're just kind of trying to not lose any of the lanes. I don't think there's any way to prevent them from losing all the lanes though. These guys are gonna route. Or die. Route first and then die. That works. Let's get some shots point blank. And that charge. Actually, no, we'll just get some shots and What are they doing? They could very well move their cav over here and get all my guys. I say, uh... Let's, let's move our guys back a bit. I don't want them to get... bold and start charging their cav. Because they're saving their cav for now, but that... is probably not going to remain true if I bring my slingers up there. some nice shots on these guys. 76. We're getting tons of kills on these guys. This is insane. They are down about 40 guys now from where they were originally. We've now killed 82% of their army. Let's see if we can't chase down this guy. I don't know, whatever. Come on, make a real attack. Oh, they're moving their calf. Are they moving to attack with their calf? These are all generals' bodyguards, so, I mean, that's what? One, two, three. Three family members involved in this fight. So it will not only be a blow to their army, but it'll also be a blow to their to the nobility of their faction. Let's just take out these guys. I hope they charge. Cause I know I would slaughter their calf. Let's, let's let's just charge. We don't need we don't need to waste our ammo on these guys. Ah, whatever. Just just use our missiles. Yeah, just finish them off. See, these guys are out of missiles now. They have no units left to put on this lane, so they're pretty much. I think once they've lost all their troops on both lanes, then they're going to charge with their cav. I don't think they're going to camp at the town square until they have their last unit. Come on, let's see them do something. It's a waste of cavalry right there. I'm not 
just let's just bring our slingers out here. We'll be able to shoot much better out here. Even though they won't get as many kills since they won't be shooting from the flanks. They're still uh I don't think it matters so much anymore about hitting them in the flanks. We're at 19. What's this volley going to put them down to? 19 to 17. I just want to kill all these guys, so I really don't care. Oh, I didn't even get any kills that time. Let's, uh... There we go. Let's get one more volley in. While they're routing. There we go. I don't think we'll be able to kill him this time, but maybe. Yeah, they're at two now. Come on. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Come on, what are they gonna do with their cav? They have a ton of cavalry out here. They can't just leave it back here the whole siege, can they? Knowing the AI, I'd think they'd do something with it. There's stop in there. There. Alright, so that's guy that guy's dead now. And now they were forced. They, I pretty much pared down every single unit they have for both of these lanes. So what is their response? Knowing the AI, I don't think they're going to sit back. Never one. You still have this guy. Oh come on, that was that was a pretty bad shot right there. I guess it's a smaller target, so it's harder to hit. I don't know. This guy's gonna go down now. Oh what? How did 114 guys all miss him? There we go. Okay. So now it'll be interesting to see what the AI does because they can't push back, they can't try to push me back on any of the lanes anymore, which seems to be the AI's tactic in sieges. They just kind of use whatever they have to attack. So they're not doing anything? I guess they aren't. Um, I was kind of hoping this would be an easy thing where they just run, to my, run into my spears, but I guess not, so let's finish this up. Alright, let's see here. Let's just, shoot, let's just shoot at these guys. Man, why is it taking so long for these guys to get in range? They should be in range by now. Let's, uh, let's just put them here. There we go, now we can...
Come on, chase my guys back here, I dare you. Do it. There we go. Stop these guys for now. They've definitely taken big enough losses to their calf that I don't think they'll be able to push me back for too much longer. So let's see. What what are my big what are my best units? This is a good unit right here. So let's bring him up. This this unit is good. He's over here. Let's bring him up. Celebrating? Celebrating what? They can't still be celebrating, can they? Let's get ready to put our pikes down. Get our pikes down and. Oh no! No, face the right way! There we go. Smile upon you today. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. These guys can't break, come on. Alright, let's, let's, uh. See if we can get our pikes down now. There we go, now they're dropping like flies. Routed instantly. And let's see. Shop lights. Okay, so yeah. Is they coming back out to meet me? That wouldn't be a very smart thing to do. Anyway, let's uh. Let's just make a double layered phalanx here. Let's just do that. So what we will do, we will do just kind of a holding the line tactic here. We'll just try and hold a spear wall against these cav, against this cav. Oh, well. 
I'm not even I'm not even worried anymore. They're at nine and nine. So uh you can't really expect these guys to last too much longer. So let's put our other infantry in here. These guys are pretty good. Let's get let's chase these guys. Let's intercept them so they can't get all my routing units. There we go, that's a nice trap. Come on, do it. Oh, no way, they got away. Jeez. Here. Let's, uh, let's at least speed it up here. Get ready. Guard this area. There we go, that'll keep them at bay for now. This is a uh, this is what I've I've learned that you use defensive mode for. Um, offensive mode is only good if you're attacking them. But if you want to lead them into a chokehold and hold them off like this, then defensive mode is best. Defensive mode is like pretty much they retain their their formation and they don't go in and they never break their formation and go in an offensive stance. So. If you're if you're attacking the horses, oh no way! How do they route them? Oh well, not a huge deal. Well, I mean, I I guess they got a lot of kills, but still, not a big deal. Anyway, we'll just kind of chase these guys down as we see fit. They're gonna, yeah, they're just like the AI. They're gonna keep pursuing my routing units, even though their units are in great danger. I don't even need phalanx. Let's just take it off. It'll just affect the maneuverability of my guys. I'm only taking one at a time because one, I want to be safe, and two, I want to prevent any mass routes. So let's stop them here. Foot down. They charging? They're not gonna charge at these guys, are they? So we did kill all three of their family members. Let's put down our pikes. And the thing about Cav is the only way Cav is going to beat a phalanx is if they break the phalanx and then uh at the same time they managed to keep the phalanx broken because the thing is Cav 
Cav doesn't even stand a chance just facing those spears. So you want to make sure you don't break the phalanx. Also, you want to make sure they can't flank you either. So, um... Let's just use these guys. These guys are worthless. They're not really... I doubt I'm ever going to use them again. Actually, let's, let's not put them there. Let's just put our chairs back there. It's this massive thing of guys I'm just going to use to... Bring them over here. Attack the backs of this phalanx. And we'll just kind of finish up the match here. Just let it end. Thirteen left. They're, they're all surrounded by my guys. Their phalanx is 100% broken up. So they're not going to last a second. 100%. That's what it says, but there's still one. There's still five guys left, so not technically. The enemy cowards run. Just finish them off. Victory. There we go, and this is the final result of the siege of Damascus. I did have a, a um an advantage, but I think it did a, an okay job of not losing too many guys. Glorious victory! Settlement captured! Well, that's not a lot of population. 100? There's just like 500 people in here. That is not... Jeez, that's not a lot at all. Anyway. Um... So... We now own Damascus. This is our new empire. Um... I want to manage the city. There. Well, I'm not sure what to do with Damascus, really. Doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do. You know, I never, I never explored yes, the whole of the Italian Peninsula, so let's do that. Can't do that, sire. Ships ready. Can't do that, sire. These ships cannot go there. Oh well. Sail there, mighty lord. Anyway, let's. That's definitely gonna be it for this video. That was a long siege. I don't really have a timer or anything going, so I'm not sure how long this video is. I'd say like maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So that's definitely going to be the end of this video. Um, My liege. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you were all interested to see the future of our army. Prepare for battle. To the hills. So uh, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.